And before I go to the calls and your super chats, apparently they caught the uh, CEO killing suspect, the guy who has been accused of killing a CEO of an insurance company. According to ABC7, a suspect has been arrested and charged following the target attack on Brian Thomas, the CEO of a major insurance group, United Healthcare. This is from ABC7. For the past five days, the world has seen the alleged killer in short clips, sometimes his face behind a mask, other times unobscured. Today, those images led to an arrest and a name. He has been identified as Luigi Nicholas Mangione. In a news conference this morning, investigators said they have Mangione in custody, booked right now on firearms charges. He was picked up in Altoona, Pennsylvania. Investigators say he was carrying a host of items linking him to the shooting of United Healthcare CEO Brian Thompson, including a homemade 3D printed handgun similar to the one used in the killing. He was in possession of a ghost gun that had the capability of firing a 9mm round and a suppressor. Also said to be in Mangione's possession, several fake IDs, including one that matches this bogus New Jersey license that the suspect used at a New York hostel, as well as a handwritten three-page document that shed some light on a possible motive for the shooting. Um, we don't think that there's any specific threats to other people mentioned in that document, but it does seem that he has some, uh, some ill will toward corporate America. Amazing, huh? It's being reported, and I don't know how true it is, that this guy came from a very wealthy family, that his father was a, a successful businessman, whatever he was doing, and they are saying that this boy went to a couple of the top universities in the country and that he was at, one of, he was at the top of his class. And I think he has a couple of degrees, they said. Isn't that amazing? And you wonder, why would a person, if that's true about his background, why would a person want to go and kill someone that young and, and destroy his own life? Don't you like wonder what the... Did he think he was going to get away with it? Was there something else going on with this boy? If it's true that he did this alleged killing. With all that going on with him, yet yeah, something drove him to do that. Well, whatever his reasons were, and we don't seem to know them at this point, the same spirit that drove him for whatever reason to allegedly kill this guy. It's the same that drive you to hate your neighbor, to not love your enemy, to want revenge, to gossip, to be jealous, to have fear, to be driven by fear, to worry, to have suicidal thoughts, to look for love, to even want or need love. It's the same spirit. It's no different. Because you're going to quickly say, ooh, I would never go and kill somebody. How can somebody just kill someone like that? The same way you can hate your neighbor. It's the same. And it's no different. The actions were different, but the spirit is the same. Evil hearts. And you see minds. Your enemy is within. This boy's supposed to have had the world going on for him. Good, good education. I thought education was the answer. You've been told over and over again, you can't make it in America unless you have a degree. And everybody been trained like monkeys to go to college. Oh, what you doing when you finish high school? I'm going to college. Who told you that? My mama. Here's some information on this guy that's been accused of killing the uh, insurance company guy from United Healthcare. Watch this from ABC, ABC 7. 
Mangione is a 26-year-old graduate of the University of Pennsylvania. See? Police say he was born and raised in Maryland and has ties to San Francisco. His last known address was in Honolulu, Hawaii. Mangione was on a Greyhound bus moving through Pennsylvania that had stopped at a McDonald's restaurant this morning. A worker there spotted him and called police. A McDonald's employee did something we ask every American to do. If you see something, say something, but most importantly, do something. Unless you black, unless you white and you try to do something, help stop violent with a black person. One hand, if you see something, do something. Okay, but if you do something, you're going to jail. Isn't that something? Do you want me to do something or you don't? The guy has a degree and everything, been all to Hawaii. Hey, had never gone to Hawaii. Have you ever gone to Hawaii? <laughs> No, I have not. See, hate never gone to Hawaii. This man been to Hawaii all over the place. Gone to McDonald's. Hate can never gone to McDonald's in Philadelphia. But he, I heard this guy had back problems. He had back problems? Major back problems. But he got back problems too. He he ain't killed a man. <laughs> not, not yet. He went educated, down a no. different path is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> what? I'm not educated enough. Never did it. But you have a degree. True. So it, watch out. See that every white person have a degree. Yes. It's hard to find a white person that does not have a degree. No, there's some whites who don't have that. Is it? Are there? They gotta be. Have you ever seen any? Um I think so, yeah. You seen a white person with no degree? Well, Italian. <laughs> 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 Nick, you have a degree? Nope. See? And he ain't white. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's it? <laughs> and then that's why black people are trying to get degrees. They heard that the white people had them. <laughs> <laughs> They're trying to be like the whites. And get a degree because before degrees didn't matter to black that much. They got jobs and they, they built houses and they had a life. Yeah. But they heard that the white man would get a degree, and now everybody wanted a degree. We got to get an education. Yeah. That's up. Maybe Jesse's getting daddy. I think Booker T tried to tell him otherwise. He did. Did he? He tried to warn him, you know what? Get a job. <laughs> Make yourself useful. <laughs> right. <laughs> what well, nah. And so this guy had the degrees and been to Hawaii, according to the story. And apparently they say he has a bad problem. I really got that from Fox, yeah. And they were talking about how he had a botched surgery and had even written about being quite angry about it and about uh, something not really working out for him, possibly related to the insurance stuff. But definitely the back problems. I haven't heard all that yet. I did hear something about the black pro uh, back problem, but I have not heard that. Amazing stuff. It doesn't matter what you have if your heart is wicked. 888-775-3773. And I guess more of why he did this will be coming out. Apparently he had a manifesto, right? Manifesto? I heard he had written a bunch of uh, something. Is it called manifesto? If, if it was a manifesto, yeah. It's called manifesto? Yeah. The thing, when people do write that, it's called manifesto. Right. And what is a manifesto? Um... It's like a written documentation of your motive and your uh, oh, wow. outlook on life. Oh, okay. And why this is so important. And like a diary? Kind of like a diary. <laughs> he had a diary. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, Lord, uh, uh, Derek, my producer, been to Hawaii too. He black. Wow. Derek Black, and he been to Hawaii, and you not you have not gone to Hawaii. And I've been invited to Hawaii a couple of times. <laughs> a bachelor party, a wedding. Really? Mm-hmm. And, and you, didn't, you don't like Hawaii? I was too busy with work. Oh. And then, well, the other one was a remarriage. You know, remarriages, not that excited to go to. 